In this video, I'll show you guys how to format a number like a thousand into a number like 1K so that it can be formatted and used in your Roblox game. So let's get right into that. What I am talking about here is the format number by Block Zez, or that is name. This is a module script that was made back in April 20th, April 20th, April of 2020. And this is a really useful module. You can read through this, guys, but I'm going to have this linked in the description. And how you can get this format number module is by going down to the files and go down to test. And this will take you to it. And you also could click on the file or whatever you guys want to do. You can read through some of the uh, more maybe advanced stuff. But I'm going to be going over uh, the bare bones of it and how it can be really useful. So... Check this out, and you can come down here to the test and grab a copy, add it to your inventory, and you can use it in your game. So how you can actually get it from a game from your inventory is if you go to Toolbox, so up here at Toolbox, and you have this, you want to go to these, like, inventory, you want to go to the inventory up here, where it says inventory, and you want to click on these like four dot things and open up your inventory click on the top and they'll say format number and that's how you can insert it in your game put it in replicated storage uh or it doesn't really matter where you put it but then you'll have this script and all this other stuff in it when you insert it and here's your format number that you can use if you guys couldn't tell already this wasn't made by me credits to the guy i said for making this uh, a long time ago because it's still really useful Okay, so how can we get into formatting numbers? Well, I'm going to insert a script in Service Script Service, and I'm going to get the module format number alt. So I'm going to get the replicated storage, and then you want to get format number alt and require it from there. You don't have to call it format number alt because it's alternative. You can just say uh, format number. I can call it format number in the replicated storage, but now we have it. Now... If we say format number, and there's all these things, format integer, and all these things. I will be showing guys what all of these do. All right, I'll show you what every single one of these does, starting off with format integer. Okay, so format integer, it formats the number that we put in um, using commas. So if I were to put in 10,000 like this, it would format it to have a comma. All right, so put in 10,000 uh, in here, 10,000, not 1,000, 10,000, and we're going to print this. By the way, guys, this returns all the values it gets from it, so you can wrap this in a variable so you can use it later on. Uh, so something like format 10,000, I don't really, like, this is kind of weird naming this, but format 10, format. This format result, all right, and this format result will be equal to the the format that is returned back from this. So, and we we can print format result format result. Go into the game. I probably didn't have to go fully into the game, but I go to output, and it says ten thousand, and it also has the comma in there. You can see there it has the comma. It formats it so can put in a bigger number like uh, so this is 10,000 let's put in 100 million so 100 million would look like this formatted if you get rid of those and run it gives us 100 million with the commas and so it, it's formatted and we can see it with the commas you guys don't have to wrap this in a variable you can just print this and it'll also work the same but keep in mind that this returns the value back so you can wrap it in a variable to be used later on. Uh, so that can be useful if you're going to use the number uh, more than once. So, you know, better optimization. Okay, and then we have format number. Format number dot format compact. And basically, you would use format compact uh, for stuff like simulators. This is the function that returns, say, we give it 10,000 to 10k okay so you put in 10,000 play the game uh, go to the output oh I didn't print it 
My bad. Okay, so go here, print it, get that value, run the game, also output, run, and it gives us 10k. Now, it has an uppercase K. You can change this by going into format number and go to config. And down here, there is a compact suffix where it has capital K, capital M, capital B, capital T, and you can keep adding suffixes. Um, but you can also make them lowercase if you really want to. So like uh, lowercase K for 1,000, M, million, uh, B, billion, T, trillion. You can also add more suffixes. I'm not really sure what happens when you go beyond trillion. Um, oh, I shouldn't close that, but playing the game again and we changed it, and it is now a lowercase k. If you, that's just a little side thing if you guys want to put that in your game. So if we were to put in 5 billion, this is 5 billion, it would say 5b representing as 5 billion. If we had 5.3 billion, it would put. 5.3 billion very simple it get um it gets all the important numbers in there uh so it doesn't have any extra numbers like it doesn't say 5.32 you know if it was a, a weird number it just gets straight to the point uh with 5.3 okay so now we have format duration this puts in the amount of time in seconds to uh the amount of, it's like if you put in 60 seconds it would give us one minute. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. Um, and it says one minute. Notice that th I really find this useful because notice there's not extra time behind it. It's only one minute. If we were to increase the time to, let's say we put in 10,000 seconds. If four, it formats it, to have no extra numbers like the days and stuff, but it gets straight to the point again by just putting in what it needs to format. So if the time is not great enough to be in an hour format, then it doesn't do that. It doesn't have extra zeros. But this, it, it formats it really nicely. And, you know, it, there's no extra zeros if the number wasn't big enough to be in an hour mark or day mark and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure uh, it doesn't go into days. It just um, start just keeps going at the hours because this is the uh, seconds, the seconds in a day, and it just returns 24. So I don't think it goes into days, but it's still really useful. And if I'm being honest with you guys, I don't really know what format U integer does. I'm it is to me, it just looks like it's the same as format integer. But of course, it's something it's different. But I'm not for sure what U integer does. Um, but then. Some of these, I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll see. But if we put in format fixed, format fixed, if we put in, say, like, 5, it'll add all these zeros after it. So we can see it adds 5 point and then these zeros behind it. Um, it kind of converts it into a decimal. And it adds the, well, it's not a decimal, but it adds zeros behind that number. I'm not for sure what that'd be useful for. Um, again, if you guys know, then then let me know in the comments. But uh, it just puts uh, zeros after it. Now I tried to use format number dot format hex float, and I have no idea what it returned. It returned this number, and I have no idea what that represents, what that would be used for. But I guess if you guys know what this is used for, also you can use format hex float. Don't really know what that means or anything, but I can do some research on it. All right, well, so this basically like converts a number into a hexadecimal representation. Um, so just combining like prefixes and that indicate different stuff. It's all kind of confusing, but you guys can do more research if you're just as clueless as I am for this. Now I'm gonna use format precision. Precision. If we put in 1,000 and print it, uh, it gives us that 1,000. It also gives us two zeros after it so it's like a pre more precise number um i also tried format standard and from what i've seen format standard is the same thing as format integer um or format integer is just integers and format precision is just like numbers sorry about my dog but it seems like some of these do the same exact thing to my eyes but there's probably something different about these um but now let's get into how we can actually be using these in our games so basically, I have this billboard GUI, 
and I want to make it so that it counts down from a minute or however many seconds we can uh, we can put in that. So I'm going to put this script. Um, I'm just going to leave it there, and I'm going to call the part time part. And I'm going to head back into our scripts, and I'm going to get time part. So time, which I actually get it, part, uh, time part. So you go to game.workspace.time part. And then we need to get uh, the billboard UI. Uh, let me see if I can. Okay. So then we need billboard GUI is equal to time part. Uh, dot billboard GUI and there's also going to be our text label. Uh, I'm just going to say text equals billboard GUI dot text text label and then I'm going to make a for loop so time is equal to well make it like I'm just going to say I equals I'm going to uh, do um, 0 comma 60 or no start at 60 go down to 0 and go over by negative 1 do and then we are going to Say text. This isn't very good because I'm saying text. I'm just going to call this text label to make it easier. But text will be equal to format number dot format duration uh, i. So then it'll format every time it goes down. And again, this needs to be task dot wait one second so it runs every one second. So when we run the game, it starts at a minute and it goes down every second and it formats it uh, to be in that time. Now we can put in a lot more, like we could put in bigger seconds. We can do that. So I'm going to put in uh, 7200 because that is the amount of seconds in two hours. So then formats it to two hours and it also formats it with the hours symbol, like uh, the hours. And everything looks good and all formats and it's really easy to put in your game. And yeah guys, that was today's video. If I did help you guys by showing you this module or you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.